Hello, job seekers and career hunters the world over. Happy Sunday. How are you? My name is Cheryl Nathaniel, and this is my channel, Careers Loading. If you're brand new, welcome, welcome. If you have returned, thank you so much. Glad that you came back. So today we're going to be talking about five tips to help your resume get pushed through an applicant tracking system and on your way to an interview. So this particular video is all about how to get that resume in front of a recruiter so that you can get a call for an interview. So I'm going to get right into it because everyone's time is valuable. So we want to make sure we give you what you need so you can be on your lovely way. But first, what is an applicant tracking system? Most commonly known as ATS for short. An applicant tracking system is software that recruiters use to narrow down the candidates for their particular job requisition. It is a type of algorithm machine that is designed to match a pattern to a pattern. So the pattern they're looking for is the resume that will match the open requisition for a perfect match. So that is what an applicant tracking system is. And why is the resume so important? The resume is so important because it is your calling card in the wide world of applicant tracking systems. 90, 98%, if I can get it out, 98% of Fortune 500 companies use and rely on applicant tracking systems to select candidates for interviews. So it's really important that your resume is an absolute standout for you and it puts you ahead of the rest of the crowd in getting selected for jobs. Because people say, hey, there's so many jobs on the market but no one's hiring. It's not that they're not hiring, it's just that maybe the resume you submitted is not what they were looking for. And at least it's not what the ATS said that they were looking for. Nowadays, your resume must meet the standards of ATS. If it does not, it gets put on a shelf in waiting. It's just in purgatory. I don't know what else to tell you. So let's get straight into these tips. Tip number one is this. Be prepared to tailor your resume for every job that you will be applying for. So if you have selected five different jobs to apply for this week, you need to look at the job requisition or the job description of each of those five, have your resume next to it, and be prepared to go through your resume and to that, and through that job description to make sure the information that is being required and requesting the resume in the uh, job description is present on your resume. Okay, that is vitally important that your resume is very similar. Not, not similar in it needs to look like the job description, but the information that you provide in your career summary, in your past job experiences, and in your education needs to reflect whatever it was they said you needed to have. Okay, that is so very important. This particular um, process, it is a bit time consuming, but well worth it if you sit down and um, tailor each resume to that particular job that you're applying for. That will get you one step closer to being matched in an ATS with that particular job, okay? And I have a tool for you at the end of this video, so please watch until the end that will help you tailor that resume the way it needs to be. Tip number two, organize those keywords, okay? Optimize those keywords. How to optimize keywords? You optimize your keywords by looking for catchphrases that the job requisition said it needed. Like if it said you needed to have project management certification or you need a master's degree in XYZ, you need to have two to three years of training development experience, whatever it is it's asking you for, those are keywords, training, communication, project management. Those are the words you need to be writing down on your resume or on a piece of paper or some kind of way to track it so that when you go to update your resume, you're incorporating these keywords into your resume. And it's like sprinkling a little seasoning all the way through your resume. You know, we can't have a recipe if it doesn't have seasoning in it. Nobody wants bland chicken, okay? So think of your resume in those terms, okay? We want to spice it up a little bit so that the ATS can pull it and the human eye can see it and say, this resume is beautiful. 
beautiful. I had an experience recently with um, a job interview, a job reached out to me and said, hey, we saw your resume on Indeed.com. We're extremely impressed with your resume. Would you like to apply? We would like to interview you for a particular position. And I was knocked off my feet. Not that I'm looking for a job, but it, I put my own resume on Indeed.com and also on LinkedIn to make sure that the tips I'm sharing with you actually work. So that one works. Tip number one, tailor your resume to a specific job. Tip number two, optimize those keywords. Tip number three is use Google Chrome's job analytics extension okay i have a video out on that so um i will put a link so i'll try to put a link so that you can click on that particular video it shows you exactly how to add that chrome extension to your resume i also have a book out um resumes that pop how to craft a resume for applicant tracking systems that also walks you through step by step on how to add this particular tool to your um, Google Chrome, if you have Google Chrome. And if you do, once you're in Indeed.com or whatever search engine that, I mean, job search engine that you are in, Jobalytics will help you match those keywords. It'll tell you what's missing and what needs to be added. Add those in as they're telling you to add them in. And then once you take it back through Jobalytics, it'll say, hey, your resume is now, a you know, 45, 50, 60, 70% match if you follow what they said. Of course, the higher the match, percentage match, the more likely you are to be selected for an interview. That was tip number three. Tip number four is use quantifiable experience. I almost forgot what I wrote down. Uh, use quantifiable information on your resume. What do I mean by quantifiable? I mean that for each past job experience you have, make sure you have a bullet point in each of those that shows how you added value to a company, how you moved it forward, how you saved them on the bottom line. You could have, uh, for example, maybe created a process that improved bottom line. Maybe you created a type of customer experience for the client that uh, really, really helped with monetization or whatever it was that you did show percentages show how you move the company forward in some way show how that process or that thing you did show how it really made you stand out and made you a value add for all the past companies you worked for it's vitally important that you have that information on there and the last tip number five is to keep it all organized keep track of each job that you are applying for because you're going to be tailoring the re resume for each particular job that you're applying for so you need a way to track this information so that when you're called for the interview you can have that information handy so that if they ask you a particular question and you've tailored your resume to their particular job requisition you can fall back into your notes and speak on that okay so those are my five tips for you again just to recap tip number one is to tailor your resume to fit each job posting tip number two is optimize those keywords tip number three is use jobalytics number four use quantifiable information on your resume and number five keep it all organized keep track of it and this is how you're going to do this i said if you wait to the end i was going to show you a good way a tool that will help you keep track of each resume that you're applying for and here is that tool it is a job seekers journal and in it it has a page where you can track the job, the date, the title, what you need to add to your resume, what's missing, when the interview is, and what you need to say. So this is available on Amazon. It's M Resumes That Pop, a Job Seekers Journal. I also have a couple of other um, covers out. And they look like this, just in case you didn't like that rainbow. And we have this one as well. And we also have my book out, Resumes That Pop, How to Craft a Resume for Applicant Tracking Systems, all available on Amazon. Yes. And if you would like more information about resumes or job seeking tips, please reach out to me. Thanks so much for watching Careers Loading. Until the next time. Bye-bye.